We're at Deb and Elliot's place at um, Bellevue Hill, Wallara, and we're setting up a, an aquaponics system. So it's part of a bigger project where we're establishing a sustainable landscape as part of a, a Cooper Creek project. So we're trying to enhance Cooper Creek, which is part of the Sydney Harbour catchment, um, and this is our little part of, of, of doing that. So this is an aquaponics setup. What have we got here? We've set up our really basic aquaponics system. We've got the tank, we've got our five goldfish, which are gonna um, establish the equilibrium. They're gonna add, add the ammonia and the, the fish poo and the nutrients to the system. We've got our pump, which comes on for 50 seconds every hour. So we've got a timer on the, on the power outlet there. So that'll pump the dirty water up into the grow bed. Now the grow bed is, we've used expanded clay, um, which has lots of surface area for the bacteria to grow in. So the bacteria are going to live in this system. They're going to take the nutrients and the ammonia out of the water and convert it into fish, into plant food. Um, they're feeding the plants and cleaning the water. So it's a, it's a flood, it's, an, it's a, what do we call it? A flood and drain system. So the pump basically fills the bed up with the nutrient rich water and then it drains slowly through this drain hole and back out into the, into the pond. So it's basically a gravity system. Once it gets pumped up here, gravity just flows, it flows back down. The pump is 250 watts. So given that it's only going on for eight or what, 24 minutes a day, it's pretty energy efficient. The aerator needs to be on all the time, so the thing that makes the bubbles, because the water needs to have lots of oxygen in it, otherwise the fish, the fish will die basically. They need a very oxygen rich environment. And after two or three months with the fish in there, just feeding the fish, the bacteria will start to grow on these rocks and the system will become stable and quite sort of self-sustaining. And all you do is feed the fish and the fish feed the plants and the plants clean the water for the, for the fish. It's like um, a stream where with a reed bed, you've got all the plants down the side of the stream, they're basically cleaning the water for, for the fish. So it's a system that's closed, but it's in equilibrium and it's, it's based on a natural, natural stream ecosystem and really productive. Yeah, so 1500 litre pond and we've only got a 200 litre grow bed. Okay, so for a 1500 litre pond, we could have to, to maximize the output of fish, maximize the number of fish, we could have a 3,000 litres of grow bed, so we could have 15 of those. The beauty of this system is you can keep adding grow beds as you go. So if you did get, a, get the hang of it with a few fish and you wanted more, just add more grow beds, add more fish. 1,000 litres of water will grow approximately 100, at, at maximum capacity, 100 kilos of fish in a year. So we could grow, you could grow 150 kilos of fish with 15 grow beds. So one grow bed, you'd grow 15 kilos of fish. And a fish is about anywhere between 500 grams and a kilo, say, 15 fish a year. And for it to kick in, it can take up to about three months for the system to find its balance. So for the bacteria levels to grow, uh, for the fish to produce enough nutrients for, for the bacteria to grow. So, you know, it can ebb and flow a little bit in that three months. You might get some algae growing. It might not be as productive as, as it could be, but in three months time, these plants are gonna be going gangbusters and growing really well. So to set up a system like this, we've, we've just finished actually setting it up in about four hours. So it was pretty, pretty simple once we got all the bits and pieces together, really quick, really easy to set up. Lots of running around trying to find all the bits and pieces in the first place, but um, you know, we've got a lot of finishing off to do. Aesthetically, it's a little bit challenged at the moment, but we can put, we'll put some timber and some, we'll get it looking really nice. It's just probably another day's work in it. So, you know, a day, maybe two days at the most, you can, you can set up your aquaponics system.
So in a nutshell, that's how to install a, a really quite a simple aquaponics system. Um, just as a bit of a checklist for maintenance, you want to make sure that that bubble machine is going all the time. If that turns off, you can lose your fish. Uh, you want to check that the pump is working and it's going on at the regular intervals that, that are programmed into that timer. Um, just keep an eye on the plants, see if they're going okay. Um, there are certain, you can test the water using water testing kits. You're looking for pH and, and all those sorts of things. Um, and just, you want to test, you want to make sure that the pond doesn't empty itself. So we've, we've checked that there are no leaks in the system anywhere. Um, because the last thing obviously you want to do is when the pump comes on, if there's a leak, we can empty the pond eventually. So it's really just keeping an eye on it, making sure the fish are healthy. They're not sort of floating upside down underneath, um, you know, on top of the water. Oh, the filter, I forgot to show you the filter. So this is our, our uh, bird netting filter that's cleaning a lot of the, the heavy, the particles out of the water before it comes into the, the grow bed. So it'd just be a case of checking that and just pulling out the bird netting and hosing it out occasionally. So it's the only thing that you put into the system is fish food. So uh, feeding the fish, keeping them alive and they'll, they'll feed the plants. This aquaponic system, it's part of a, a program um, funded by Wallara Council. So if you want more information, you can go to their website, they'll have a link there. Or um, you can visit sydneyorganicgardens.com.au. Um, we, we are landscape architects and we design sustainable landscapes all around Sydney. So, and, and part of that is aquaponics, part of that is, is chooks, compost bins, veggie gardens, water tanks, anything sustainable garden-wise, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Um, so check us out.